Laravel document, you'll need to have both PHP load your Laravel app. Immediately, All right, so check this out. Hey there, how are you doing? Uh, I'm gonna let you in on a secret. When I work on courses for Laracast, I just about never, ever write scripts. But this series is a very special one and I care about you so much that I took the time to sit down and prepare a formal introductory script. And I'd like to read it to you right now. Please be excited. It goes a little something like this. Hello. It's nice to meet you. My name is Jeffrey, and I'm here to teach you the ends. I can't do it. It's so boring. And I already know it. Uh, hi, I'm Jeffrey. Uh, I've been working with Laravel for over a decade. And you know what? To pat myself on the back, I'm one of the few people who can say, I've actually been working with Laravel for over a decade. Uh, yeah, I was there in the early days, uh, back when Laracon wasn't even a thing. And if Laracon is new to you, that is a Laravel-specific conference. Uh, these days, they are held all over the world, and thousands and thousands of people attend. Uh, but back then, nobody knew what Laravel was. Uh, in fact, when people heard the word, they called it Laravel, not Laravel. And actually, some people still do today. But trust me, the correct pronunciation is Laravel. Uh, but yeah, back then, nobody knew what it was. And we didn't have a Laracon yet. And when we finally did have a Laracon, maybe, I don't know, 60 people showed up. And you know what? I was one of the presenters at that very first conference. So I say all of this, again, not to pat myself on the back, but to, to, to persuade you that I've been doing this for a really long time. And if you're just getting started in Laravel, I think I would be a great tour guide. All right. That's my spiel. So if you'd like to learn the ins and outs of Laravel, why don't you come along one day at a time? Let's go. Now, before I can start showing you how to write Laravel apps, of course, the first step, as always, is to get your tooling in order. Now, in the past, when it came to setting up a development environment uh, for PHP, I don't know, it could sometimes be a little bit overwhelming because there's so many different tools to choose from. It's sort of decision paralysis, right? Which one do I pick? And of course, everyone has a different recommendation. And while that's still, of course, true, these days, there are one-click solutions that are really incredible and I can happily recommend. So yeah, maybe traditionally, you might pull in a tool like XAMPP or MAMP or WAMP. Uh, on Windows, you might use a tool called Laracon. And by the way, all of these are still developed today and they're excellent. Um, the whole point is, and here's another one on the Mac, uh, you could install everything manually, quote unquote, using Homebrew. So you could do things like brew, install, PHP, brew, install, MySQL. All of these still exist and are great and they are options for you. But if you're just getting started with Laravel, I can happily recommend uh, Laravel Herd. It's a magical, and I hate using that word, but it's kind of true. It's a magical one-click utility to get you up and running, building PHP and specifically Laravel apps. So right down here, just click on the button. Uh, on my machine, I see download for Mac OS, but rest assured there is a Windows equivalent. Otherwise on Linux, you probably already know what to do. But yeah, otherwise you might consider this tool, which is still great. Okay, so let's just work through it together and get set up. I will download it. All right, let's drag this to my applications directory, close it out and open it up. All right, welcome to Herd. Let's get started. All right, notice it is downloading PHP 8.3, which is the latest version at the time of this recording. Now, there is a free version of Herd, and that's going to do everything you need. If you want some extra bells and whistles, you can, of course, pay for a professional version. But yeah, if you don't want to do that, the free version will take you as far as you need to go uh, for this course and further. We'll skip it for now. All right, there we go. So notice we now have binaries for Herd, PHP, 
Laravel, and a tool called Composer, which you may or may not be familiar with. But either way, don't worry, we will cover it when we get to it. All right, next, all PHP projects placed in the herd folder will automatically be available in your browser. And this is one of the coolest things. You're going to love this. All right, so let's get started. All right, check this out. If I go up to my menu bar, I now see a new herd icon. Here's where I can see any processes that I have running. I can switch between the versions of PHP that I have installed. And this is one of the great features. Uh, if you have multiple projects where some of them depend on an older version of PHP, you can run those simultaneously on your local machine, which is really cool. You don't have to worry about it at all. So notice in this case, it looks like there is an update for 8.2 available. And if I want to pull that in, I can do so with a single click, which is really cool. But anyways, if I switch over to the general tab, here I can see a list of paths where Herd will search for any potential PHP projects. So by default, you get your home directory slash Herd, but yeah, you can register as many as you want. So in this case, I've added an additional folder called code, and that's fine as well. All right, let's give this a shot. So I'm gonna go into my home directory slash Herd. Of course, it's empty right now. And we're gonna use this new Laravel binary. And this is included um, out of the box with Herd. And this is, again, one of the benefits. It includes everything you need to get up and running right away. So I'm gonna say Laravel, generate a new project, and I'm gonna think of any name I want. Let's keep it very simple, and we will call it example. All right, so it's gonna ask me a handful of questions. Would you like to install a starter kit? A starter kit is exactly what you think. It's it's a way to jumpstart a project with um, layouts, templates, authentication. Uh, it's really cool. But for now, I want to start from scratch. All right, test framework. Again, we're going to stick with the defaults. Do we want to get repo? No, we're just playing around. All right, so notice it's creating a new folder called example, and it's pulling in all of these dependencies. And again, you didn't even need to know that Composer was a thing uh, in order for this to work, which is really cool. But again, don't worry, if you, if you wanna learn more, you're gonna learn more. All right, which database will your application use? Why don't we stick with the basics? SQLite, which is a file-based database. All right, that's done. List the files. There's our example project. We'll CD in there, list them again. And that's the Laravel framework, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, really cool. And even better, we can instantly view this application in the browser by visiting the name of the folder dot test. Don't believe me? Let me show you. Let's give it a shot. Example dot test. And there we go. Say hello to the landing page for Laravel 11. Everything's configured and we're ready to get started. But now real quick, before we finish up, if you chose not to use Herd, yeah, you might take a slightly different pathway. And like I mentioned, you could use a tool like Laragon or Xamp or Docker and Sail. And all of those are excellent, but they have slightly different installation steps. So just keep that in mind. If you need any help, be sure to ask questions in the comments below and we'll do we'll do our best to help out. Okay, but otherwise, in the next video, you are gonna create your first rat. I hope you're excited.